Welcome to Hardway Learning. Today we are working on the RS3, the rally, the road rally beast. We're adding some lowering springs, MSS sport or streets, MSS streets. Streets. They are adjustable. They'll give us a 10 to 30 millimeter drop. We're shooting for about 20 because we don't want to ride on the bump stops. So. get the front suspension off, the first thing you want to do is take the sway bar end link off, and that is an 18 millimeter uh, socket. We'll just use the old impact here. Get a little shot of where that is. Right on the top of the shock here. So the next thing that we want to do is disconnect the actual bottom of the shock that is also an 18 and then also a 14 millimeter three square goofy thing because German. Hard to find to see, you know, O'Reilly's out of part. One, one other and key important step to uh, removing the shocks so that you don't drop the whole bottom arm all the way out and lose your drive shafts and have to realign them. You want to keep a little support underneath the bottom of that arm. We might need more light back here. There's a sensor that plugs into the bottom. That controls the magnetic ride. And then you can see, so the, this, this bottom of the shock assembly clamps on like this. And you've got to bolt through those clamps. So once you get the bolt out, you got to pry those clamps apart so that the shock can fall. And we found out that that is in there really difficult. But if you come in here with a pry, a pry bar, so you get the pry bar in between here, and then it won't come up. Sometimes you need some weight on there, don't we? So another hardware learning pro tip is to use your uh, curb rash wheel <laughs> as sort of a, a step stool so that someone can get in here and lean on this to get the, the shock down. So. <laughs> Moved about it looks way easier here. than it actually is. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, we're making progress. Are we? Oh yeah, we moved another three millimeters. Are we against the jack? No. I wish it was that easy. How about you do, Kyle? Jump. 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 It's just a matter of getting enough spread. <laughs> Shock mounts out, come up here up top and get these guys. Three, what size is that? Um, half inch, so like, I don't know, like a 13. <laughs> it should be metric. You got those top shock mounts out, you can lower the. We can just sneak. Oh god, uh, you don't even want to lower this because the bottom of this. Whatever you do? The bottom of the. <laughs> So you want to be a little careful with the, the bottom of these struts have these sensors in them. Thankfully they got long wires on them. Just push it back in. What Charlie's doing here. So now, spring compressors. 
So the spring compressor you can rent from a local uh, parts store, O'Reilly's or Autos, Advanced Auto, AutoZone, whatever, Napa. They all kind of do a tool rental program where you pay down payment on it and then they, once you return it, uh, you get your money back. So it's free tool rental, kind of incentivizes people to buy parts from them. We used O'Reilly. They were very nice there. Yeah, and then uh, if you're working on a Volkswagen like this, you, they don't really have parts for you. But they got tools. Tools. And we definitely need tools. And it doesn't appear so, but this is Kyle's first time using a spring compressor. All right, hit it. Those spring compressors are three quarters. The big one is, it is 21. And the secret here is use an impact because it's on the shock shaft and it'll just spin if you don't use an impact. Otherwise you gotta get some sort of fancy yeah, socket like that. that you can put a wrench through the middle. But really, really we like impacts because they're we a lot need of this. People, people like, don't want to come flying at me. You did notice our move to stay the heck out of the way. Alright, now we get the spring compressor. Back off. I'm really glad we spent four hours figuring out the left the left side first. <laughs> This is going way smoother. So some of the assembly really tricked us out. Uh, basically, the sort of thicker chunk goes towards the top and rests on this metal piece. Once you get the uh, dust guard through there, you'll be able to press, kind of press fit that on. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need about 143 pounds to press fit that. So the other part, the skinny part goes down and then it rests into this little rubber bit here. We will slide this back on here. And we already adjusted this so that it was sort of about, you just want to make them the same. We're going to shoot, so basically, I don't know what I'm yeah, saying. We have no idea. We have no idea. We think it a while. Uh, guess on where this should but we made it both the same but we do know that this will adjust from 10 millimeters to 30 millimeters lower than stock so we kind of wanted to ride a little higher than than slam so we're kind of trying to shoot for a happy medium some guy on the internet told us that so this is what happens if you don't compress the spring though we are way above the top of the shot yeah like two inches what is that in millimeters to which is 50 millimeters, so we gotta for compress. The, for the Europeans that are working on your RS3s. So we come back over here with our spring compressors. Which, uh, do we go this way or this way? Um, we go any way that we can make it fit. I think this way is the easier way. Yeah. All right. Hit so it. you wanna kinda snug them down evenly. And then compress. Nice. So this is the problem we had before. Now we got this levered over. No way we're gonna get it on there, so we gotta redo this. No problem. So maybe we did that upside down. How did we do? How did we do that? We did do one upside down. How did we do that before? So then this has got a uh, tab here. We need to match with the tab here. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a little thin here. You want to make sure that your okay. Where's that nut? Oh, where's the nut? <laughs> <laughs> this this takes exactly 143 pounds of pressure as well. <laughs> okay, and then you want to thread that on a good way so that you don't strip it when you hit it with the impact driver. Hit it with the impact driver now. Righty tighty. Get these bad boys back off of here. Man, we're like a NASCAR team now. We'll be changing springs at the rally. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that one's gonna be a little more interesting, but you know what? We got tools for that. Well, you know what? We might want to compress it back down because our spring shifted a little bit. The end here, we did get it lined up in that slot right there. Again, we got a little confidence in ourselves. You want the... Uh, here, push down on this right here. I'm gonna get... Okay, smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you wanted to, thought you wanted we'll to get have to take it off again, I think. That's the thing. We can kind of get it moved over there. We can get it slid down the spring. We might go get, there oh, we go. That's oh. what I'm saying. Well, there Look we at go. that. There we go. Okay, and just, uh, you know, if this, this whole number happens to you, you just gotta coil her back in there a little bit. Press her back in. I wonder why that pops out so easy on this side. So now you come back over and we learned that it's easier to put the bottom in first 
But you gotta make sure you have someone go look at your computer and figure out how to put it back in and someone tries to put it back in while you're looking online to figure out how to put it back in and they'll get it in while you're trying to look how to do it. Kept the uh, CV joints in and uh, a little bit solid here. I really hope so. Okay. That should be enough clearance because that's how we got it out, right? Yep. So we just wanna, so that here's another trick too is uh, this little notch faces inwards into the back of the car and then just line up the bolts from there. Word of warning when we're doing all this, ride height sensor. All the plastic piece that we are stressing the heck out of right here, <laughs> but we gotta buy one so we might as well buy two. <laughs> so it's really easy to break, FYI. If you let the arm drop too far, it'll snap. But so, we'll sneak this up first and then get the bottom in like so and then shift that. Getting it in just a little bit is the hard part. Once it's in, it feels good. Since you're the pro, why don't you uh, work it in there? You get that in? Now, when you have a professional do something, it just goes in. So you just pry it open with the, the crowbar a little yep. bit and then just slap, 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 slap it or sloop it. After about 13 tries on the other side, we gotta figure out how to do this. So, Kyle, right. you gotta get that tab lined up and I'll. Uh, Get the bolt set right in my pocket. This is where having two human beings that really helps. This is going about a thousand times faster than the other side. Yeah, that's what that's you know what you you learn the hard way, and then you can do it the easy way. All right, Cal has a good feel for lining up these bolts, so he's gotta get the twisted just right. And what I'm gonna do is eye him up as he comes in. This all has a camber to it, as you can see, the top of the shock body leans towards the back of the car. We only know where to put it because we checked it before we took it apart. Always good to do a thorough inspection of what you're working on before you take it apart. Or have another car handy. Or have the other side to look at. That looks good. There we go, I see one hole. Is that right for your, uh, give it a little more twist. Is that the right spot? Hold yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, hold it right. Oh, right there? Yeah, hang on, hold it right there. You. you thinking that's it? Yeah, that must be it. All right. That is goofy. You think well, it would be symmetrical, but. I know, but good, but. The struts are obviously universal. Oh, oh, so on the, on the other side, this, this yep. one's okay. Oh, wow, that's interesting. I'm bringing the whole shock up. Well, this is. There you go. So now we come in here and bolt up the bottom of the shock. Kyle's riding a Performax. Uh, Garage uh, mobile stool, bought from Menards. This goes like this. Yeah, the, uh, excuse me, the four point. Three, three squares. Three square times the square root of Christmas. And then get your sway bar and link back into the strut flange thing. So you'll have your assistant here crank the, uh, the jack up to get that leveled out. This is great having all your uh, nuts and bolts just a little further. All right. And with that, you have your MSS Street. Street Sport Springs installed on your Arster in the front. Stay tuned for the rear springs. We'll be releasing them in separate videos to stretch out our content a little bit. Make sure to subscribe, share, like, dislike. Tell your friends about the channel. Tell all your buddies with RS3s that they they should do this because I'm sure it's going to look great. I can't tell you yet. I've seen pictures online, but in person, I have not experienced this yet. We'll see you next time.